everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be decorating my happy planner for the coming week and we are going to be using the new happy in paris sticker book the sticker book is from the happy planner back to school release and it's available now i'll link it down below so that if you want to grab it you can all right so this one was gifted to me from happy planner and i absolutely adore it i haven't used it yet so we are definitely going to jump into it and use a ton of it right now okay so there are a lot a lot a lot of really really cute stickers just look at that so many things so what i think i want to do is i want to use these stamps but I also want to use other things too. So I'm trying to think of what layout I want to use. Sometimes I like having a full scene across here. Other times it can be really nice to do like a scene up here and down here or like decorative here and decorative here, but not like a full scene. So let me think on that. Okay, I think we're gonna make a scene down below and then do some stuff up above. I felt like my camera was also starting to tilt, so I fixed the stand and we'll see if it stays or not but in order to make this scene I'm gonna white out the entire bottom section and I do this because I'm not sure exactly where things are gonna go but I don't want the lines through the clear stickers if there's an area that I don't use for like the design right here I can always uncover it later and uh, have that line actually exist again <laughs> so we will uh see what happens but this is so pretty it's kind of like paris themed squad girls almost um but super pretty and i just can't wait to have this as the spread next week okay so we are gonna do the gold ones because i'm loving this little gold tinge on these things like in the awning right there so cute okay we're gonna put this here on this side and i will cut any edges later because i'm pretty sure there are going to be a lot of things that are going to kind of hang over so let's put this one right here And then line this up because I'm going to put the last one right in the middle. Like that. Hello trees. So yeah, we might not use this whole upper area. We'll see. Um, not really sure. I think this one will be lovely here. And there are these little shop signs. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, we're going to put one here because it'll fit nicely right there. And then we have this little green one. Do I put it here over that or over here? I think here to fill some space. We have a nice lamp post. These are so cute. Okay, so let me just double check there's anything else from any other page that we might put in well there are girls here that we could fill in but let's use up the ones from this page and see if it kind of fills it all in okay so this one's a bakery so we're gonna put the one sitting at the chair here we're just gonna kind of Fill them in so they're taking up the whole space, if that makes sense. Uh, since there's a bike here, this one has a bike as well. Oh, she's also got some bread. So she can be here, like, leaving the bakery. walking and then this one can just be kind of over here then we do still have a little bit of space 
So I'm just gonna fill these baskets in. <laughs> they don't really totally make sense there, but it works. And then we finished a whole page of it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna trim these and then we can actually use some functional stickers and things like that. These stickers also feel a little different than previous Happy Planner like clear stickers. I don't know what to say though. They're thick and sturdy. Um, the previous ones were too, but they're a little bit matte and they're not clear, they're translucent, but they have like white behind them. That's the difference. They have white behind them instead of clear. I don't know if it's just the sticker book or if it's like what Happy Planner's going towards. Okay, I'm gonna turn this over here to cut this so I don't cut it incorrectly and I'm gonna punch this really quick so that I can fix these holes here alrighty let's see oh that's so cute okay so what can we do now? I might put some boxes around here so we can get some function in there. Yeah, let's do that, okay. Or maybe some quotes. Some quotes right here, yeah, okay. I don't quite have the space that I want for it to be exactly what the sticker was set up for, but we can do it this way. Nice, okay. And then this one, again, I need to cut it up and make it fit. Don't be afraid to cut your stickers, folks. Oh, so cute. And then I think I might just throw in these flowers kind of all over the place, facing every which direction, so that I don't have to feel like I have to scratch any of the things that we have covered up. So it's just like a full decorative area that we're not gonna write in. And there are just flowers everywhere and that's okay. I think it looks kind of cool. Okay, let's see. We could get a little thing here and a little thing there. Let's do a purple one since we have purple over here and peach would be nice there. Okay. And then one more. Right there. Okay, so that's a whole decorative area and now we're gonna get functional. I love having a long box sticker right here. I use it for either gratitude, grocery list, something like that. Okay, and then what I think we're gonna do, since we have this whole big thing down here, I don't wanna take up too much space up there, but we can add this little washi strip to kind of add a little bit of decoration to make it all come together. We'll put the other one here and I'll have to cut it to fit the page. Okay. 
Let's see. So I'm missing my little pencil bucket. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. We've got all sorts of things in here, and yeah. There we go. So that just pulls it together a little bit, and then we can put in some boxes for the, like, functional stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one here. It kind of lines up with that, but that's okay. I'm kind of feeling like these should be sort of even because this is covering up this whole thing. So what if I like put this one here and then do the next one here and then one there. How many colors of this do I have? Um, just those two that are rounded. So I would do green and then blue so that they're a little bit different. Okay, so get it done. Notes. Priorities. Let's make sure we're using different ones. So priorities. And then write it down trying to make this one fairly even with that one not exactly but close enough <laughs> and there are some smaller boxes somewhere ah here okay and some other colors that we haven't used here's a to-do There's a floral one. Let's put it up like that. Let's grab a peach to go here. And I feel like this one should have one even though they'll both kind of be on the Tuesday. And let's do, we could do one of the skinny little ones. Let's do that. And maybe bring it I guess just right there. Okay, so then my thought, I don't have a lot of room because I need, I took up this whole thing. So I'm wondering if it's too much to use some stamps in here. Oh, let's just pick one up and kind of hold it. That would be really cute, but I think think I need the function of this whole space up here. So we're going to call this good and we're going to end it here because I need to make sure that I'm actually using my planner. <laughs> but this is so cute. I love this sticker book. You will love it if you get it. Link is down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!